My name is Gabriel Hartman. My name is Nadia. And my name is Noah. And we're going to teach you about overtraining and how overtraining can lead to heat cramps. All right, our topic is overtraining, which affects athletes. Overtraining is when an athlete does more than he or she is physically and mentally capable of. It can result in a number of symptoms that are highly individualized, and it can also lead to heat cramps. Here we see an athlete training for a marathon. He has been running around the track in the heat for a long time. This athlete has been overtraining and running in the heat for way too long, which is why right here he experiences a heat cramp. And here's a trainer to tell you what to do if you ever encounter a heat cramp yourself. So this patient is, is experiencing heat cramps, which are a brief, painful muscle cramp. Heat cramps can be treated by giving them, by putting them into a cool place, such as that seated area, as well as giving them small drinks of water to prevent hydra dehydration. All right, this is a perfect example of a place to take your injured athlete because of the shade, there's a place to rest, and you can give the athlete water to help the heat cramps. There are also other ways to stay, stay to prevent heat cramps, such as staying hydrated, and as well as not exerting, not exerting yourself at maximal force while exercising. The athlete listened to the trainer and did all the things he could to prevent heat cramps and overtraining. So here he is training for his next marathon that is coming up. Here you can see him training for his upcoming marathon, but unlike last time, he uses what the trainer said and gets a drink of water. Water is one of the best ways to help prevent heat cramps, but as you can see, here's the athlete at his marathon, and he is coming in first place after using all of the things that the trainer said to try and prevent heat cramps and overtraining. He used all of that and finished the race without any problems, and he came in first place.